So what I'm working on here is I'm doing a swatch for a double-sided heart pattern. So rather than have all the two-sided threads, the yarn in the back getting tacked down as I go, I'm going to actually do a double-sided hat and I'm doing it in the opposite. And you use knit and purl to get your, your pattern moving. So for the front, you're going to knit. For the back, you're going to purl. When you are facing, so you face your work this way, you're going to knit, purl, knit, purl. But you're going to alternate when you do that. And I will show you how to do that. I already started my pattern so you can get an idea of how it's forming. So this is the heart starting to form on both sides. Okay. So your swatch is five by five. And the ends, I'm just knitting these two together, not making them part of the pattern to give it that close to close it. Right, I'm just going to go ahead and knit those together. I'm still creating the heart. So this is why I'm going to start with the yellow. And then I'm going to purl. Okay, so I have all I need right now for the, the stitches for the heart. So I continued to make the heart. So I did nine stitches here. And then I'm going to continue on to do more of the white. And then I'm going to make the uh, stitch here. So as you're doing that, you get your pattern in the back and you get your pattern in the front. So then as I did the white, I was starting to make my heart when I purled and I was making my heart when I was knitting in the front. Now I'm working the white, purl the back in the yellow. And that stayed yellow when I purled. Now I'm going back to do my stitches for however wide I want my heart to be. So my heart has been gradually progressing as I go. Okay. So now I'm going to knit part of my heart. So we want to make sure the yellow's on this side. We want to make sure the white's on this side. All right. So we're knitting on the front and we're going to go ahead and purl on the back to get the white. So knit the yellow in the front for your heart and then the back we're going to use the white. Okay, so.
and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to knit these two stitches like this to get my close off edge. So my edge is closed off. So that's doing the white and the yellow. So we're going to go now, we're going to go the white heart with the yellow background. When we start our work, this is part of the heart pattern right here. This is the background color. So we're not worried about how this turns out here because this is just the hearts being part of the background. And the reverse side, it's the same way. This is the white as the background and this is my heart forming. Okay? And it's a clean finish. So therefore it makes it um, less awkward when you have all your little stitches in the back when you don't have double sided. Okay, so now we're going to work on the white. So the white comes first because you want your stitch to show for your heart. And you want to purl the yellow on the back. So there's more of the heart forming. Now what I want to do is fill in with um, some of the yellow stitches. So now I'm going to swap yarns and it's going to be the knitting. The front is the yellow and the back is going to be the white. Knit one, two, we're going to knit three. And as you go, you can see the visualization and you can work with it. Like say you're a visual person and you want to draw it out and then go ahead and use that as a guide. You can do that. If you see more of the stitches, then you can go ahead and use a program to input your stitches and then you can go ahead and use it that way to practice. Um, with swatches, how your design's going to look, and then go from there, edit. It's so much easier to do your swatches than it is to just start knitting when it comes to various patterns, and that way you don't have to keep taking it out. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do knit three in the yellow to keep my pattern going. And then I'm going to purl the white. So there's my three. Now I'm going to start on using the white. Pearl the yellow.
Okay. And we can see the heart is forming as we go. Once you get the routine on your knit and pearls, you can create whatever you want. 